All right, man, here we got something that's uh, kind of rare, man. Not only because of the car that it is, but, uh, you know, because of some of the things that it has on it. You know, just stuff you really, you know, you don't, you don't see in the yard. Now, what we got is a 1975 um, Pontiac Grand Lamont. Let's check it out here. As you can see, this car's been sitting for a while. No dash, really. I think it came like this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, back seat, there's part of the upper dash there. Yeah, not much going on here. Got a tilt steering wheel. But, B&M, shifter I don't know if these were American racing rims or not but uh, I got all of them they all look in good shape except the back of the car the tail lights uh, back bumper is in good shape Deck lid, eh, it's got some rust on it. It's this side of it right here. Dent it on both sides. There's the front end. I got a mark here as a Le Mans, but it's a, it's a Grand Le Mans. I know the they use a different grill here, this deal right here. But let's check out what's under. Oh, let's see what see what it says up here. Non-runner. Dash and wires taken apart. Engine parts missing. Rust damage. But uh, uh, here's the interesting part. Let's see if we can focus on that. Get comp cams, man. Roller rockers. Excel there. Distributor. Now, interesting thing here. It says 400. Come on, focus on me. Come on. Okay. But right here, it says applicable for 1970. Well, it's hard to see, but it says 77 there. Come on. Uh, you can see it right there, 1977. So I don't know what the deal is. Did they change this out, this whole um, core support, maybe? But uh, oh, it's a big radiator, too. Oh, let's zoom back. Okay. Looks like they did a rebuild on it. It's got the Y4, so on there, so... I think the engine is 73, the block, from what I was looking at online. The heads, this is here, J17, well I know the, uh, so it's 1970, the other one is also 70 head, if, that's, if, I'm, if I'm seeing this correctly. So, if I'm right, then you know it's 70 heads for the 74, or 73 um, block. So it's got a new roller, double roller uh, timing chain there. Who knows what they did? What? Yeah, it looks like yeah. Like I said, I think they did a whole new rebuild on this thing. A while ago. So. Anyways, yeah. And I wanted to make sure. So here just to make sure it is a 75 model come on focus but it doesn't end here man it does not end there oh, I can't even close that crap uh, come 
on focus. There it is. Now, look under here. Under the car. I think that's a, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, Flowmaster. Check it out. Hotchkiss trailing arms, upper and lower. Edelbrock, uh, if you can see it, you can kind of see it. Edelbrock uh, shocks. Uh, they, it also has Edelbrock, uh, it's not, the front shocks are also Edelbrocks. And uh, this thing, if you can see, turning the wheels, it's got a posi in it. Not sure if, what they did to it or what's in it, but yeah. Up here, BM. Transmission pan there. Who knows if that yeah, transmission's been beefed up or not? But yeah, man, all these goodies on this car. But it's been sitting a while. You, you can't. I don't know if you can see it right there, but uh, got a bunch of uh, looks like wasp nest or something. And you bring your gas tank also. But yep. Like I said, very odd to see not only the car like this in the yard, but uh, with all the parts this got on it. Just wonder what the what the deal was. Anybody abandoned it maybe? Person went to jail or something? Who knows? Died. Anyways. I thought it was pretty cool to see something like this here. Like I said, man, this engine, you know, it's 400. You know, his might be worth some money. Hmm. One more look at it here. All right, guys, I'm about to head up out of here. See if there's something else in this yard. Probably not, though. I decided to come back and pull the heads off just to see what the... Uh, the deal was here but yeah I made a mistake these I must have read it wrong I guess these are they're they're uh, 77 heads uh, 6x but um, Turns out, I guess, look these up. They're, I guess, Speed Pro uh, Forge Pistons. So, when I looked up the number, it's uh, uh, 30 over. Well, you can see it says there. But, uh, yeah. So, they got nice cross hatching. I mean, they don't look like they're in bad shape. I don't feel a ridge or anything. I was curious to see what was what was under here, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if I uh, if I should take them. Doing like forty bucks here, so all right, I'll see what I'm gonna do. Like I said, I was just curious to see what the deal was with these, and you know, um, like I said, after I looked a little more, turns out yeah, I made a mistake on the. I read I read the uh, I guess the date code wrong. <laughs> Anyways, all right guys, I am out of here.